In Villagers and Heroes, you will experience grand adventure and village life alike in a massive fantasy world together with thousands of people from all over the globe. Build a village, battle ferocious beasts, craft your own gear and items, and partake in social events. Starfall is a massive new expansion adding countless new features, content, and improvements. Gear is now a much larger part of the game with item rarities, powerful new stats, and millions of item combinations. Venture out and battle enemies for a chance of finding items of legendary strength or craft your own gear of immense power. For even more control over your gear, you can combine items with Nogmenting, merging abilities and feats of your choosing into the perfect item. Class talents have been completely overhauled and are now grouped into three specializations per class. Master one direction fully or branch out and become a jack of all trades. The choice is yours. Leveling any talent up fully unlocks a powerful ultimate ability which can turn the tide of any battle. High-level players will get to explore seven new story zones, reach level 90, and battle challenging new bosses in The Journey to the Crux, an entirely new quest line for characters level 79 and above. Much else is new in the Starfall update. Customize your characters further with new hairstyles and colors. Explore an all-new world map of greater detail than ever before. Experience a refined UI on both PC and mobile, and much more. With the arrival of Starfall, there has never been a better time to jump into Villagers and Heroes. Play on your PC, phone, and tablet with full cross-platform support, and join your friends in the largest mobile-supported MMO ever made.
Nortander, the cradle of human civilization. We know war. It has been at our side for millennia, coming and going with the indifference of the tides. Our most recent sprouted from rebellion. For reasons unknown, a mage by the name of Isamo Tahar gathered the noble houses behind him in an attempt to overthrow the crown. burnt towns to ashes. Abominations ravaged the battlefields. Men and women were torn apart with the snap of a finger. Only a sacrifice by our queen achieved what none had thought possible. An end to the slaughter. Once more believe that their suffering has come to an end. They hope. They dream. But the tides don't change. Ah, summertime in Montreal. The special time of year when t-shirt tans, boob sweat, and ice cream stains are the badges of honor earned for enduring another stupidly cold winter. Well, from what we can tell from our monitors, it's summertime outside, but here at Compulsion Games, we're laser-focused on making this a killer update. This is our third major update since we launched in early access, and it'll be the last major update until the final launch of We Happy Few. The entire Compulsion team has been working hard on new features while enhancing the parts of Wellington Wells you already know and love. So sit back, grab your joy, and welcome to Life in Technicolor. First, the joy mechanics have finally received a long-awaited upgrade. Joy is a key gameplay feature in We Happy Few and one of our major points of focus for this update. There are now five different states associated with the joy mechanics. You've got your unaltered normal state, joy, crash, overdose, and lastly, withdrawal. Each come with their own visual and auditory feedback, so prepare your eyes and ears. Second, we have completely reworked the conformity and stealth mechanics in the game. In our old system, suspicion could arise randomly from a large range of sources, which would make for a very erratic behaviour from NPCs. Now, when you're doing something wrong, you will be granted a conformity window, during which NPCs will ask you to conform before proceeding to happily carve you up. It should be more consistent, and NPCs will express what is causing them to be upset with more accuracy. We have also reworked stealth gameplay by changing the way NPCs see, hear, and are distracted, allowing you to perfect your stealth moves. The detections and search parties that follow will vary depending on the NPCs. Bobbies will now look harder and more efficiently than normal wellies or wellettes. Together, the conformity and stealth changes represent a pretty significant change to the way We Happy Few is played. It should make for a very different experience inside Wellington Wells. Third, say hello to the new UI and spruced up HUD. Our in-game UI has been redesigned both visually and functionally. 
Now in one fell swoop, they fit in more seamlessly with our 60s world while being way less annoying to use. Feast your eyes on the Tetrisless wonder that is your new inventory screen. The new weight-based system allows you to stack items as long as you don't exceed your expandable weight limit. Watch out, hoarders. Along with better status, quest, and crafting screens in the player menu, the HUD got a tune-up, including new in-game 3D waypoints, status effects on enemies, and a revamped quick slot system. And don't miss our new loading screen animations. We hope you'll enjoy the little show while you wait for the world to generate. Fourth, we're happy to introduce some brand new encounters. There are fewer new encounters this time around, but they are bigger and better and add a lot of variety to the game world. Arthur stumbles across a familiar place from his past, gets a glimpse inside the tantalizing victory meat manufacturing process, oh yeah, and becomes better acquainted with what happens below the surface of Wellington Wells. The rest you'll have to discover for yourself. We wouldn't want to spoil the surprise for you, after all. Fifth, we added support for community localization. This is a big one, and we know a lot of you have asked for this. To recap what we said previously, we will have official subtitle support for English, French, Italian, German, Spanish, as well as Japanese, simplified Chinese, maybe traditional, Brazilian Portuguese, and Russian on the 1.0 release of the game. However, to broaden the availability of the game in other languages, and to see the early access version localized, we have also added the ability to create community localizations through the Steam Workshop. We hope this will make We Happy Few more accessible for everyone. Six, we have a ton of other new features, including fast travel. Tired of hauling your downer ass back and forth across Wellington Wells? Well, it doesn't kill you. Well, now you can travel quickly using the vast tunnel system that connects the islands. Jubilators. Ever wonder what would happen if you threw a teapot, vacuum cleaner, and an ice cream truck in a blender? Well, wonder no more. Jubilators are here to keep the streets clean and downer free. Arm variants. Now, not only does Arthur look great in all his outfits, they provide feedback about what you're wearing. And please enjoy these further additions. Including this, and this, and that, and this, and these, and this, and that, and this also, and this. And finally, we are very happy to announce our partnership with Gearbox Publishing. They will be helping us bring We Happy Few to retail, including the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, making it a better, cooler, and happier game. <coughs> We invite you to come check out the trailer for yourself. As always, we will gladly welcome any feedback you may have. Thank you for listening. We wish you a great summer and a happy update. Don't forget to take your joy. Get up now. There's work to be done. Wait, what's this? You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? What got into you, Hal? You and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. Someone has to bring order and reunite the Empire! That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! What the fuck do you think you're doing? We're just doing what we have to do! Oh, sons! I'll make those smiles off your faces! Look me in the eye, Henry. If you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Henry, help us! Help us, son. Don't be a coward. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. We have to prepare for the worst. You spend all your days Drinking and chasing wenches. What kind of fool are you, boy? You have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. Put it all behind you. I never want to forget this. The time has come for those horse sons to pay for what they did to us. Move. Move. Sir. They're coming. There's no time. of the Frozen North expansion update, Conan Exiles is bigger and better than ever. Our focus during the first stage of Early Access was to listen closely to our core community 
and to make huge improvements to the game. And we're finally ready to enter phase two of early access. Players will notice that we've revamped the game from top to bottom. We've made mechanical changes to the very core of the combat system, separating light and heavy attacks, making dodges cancel animations, and generally improving the feel of fighting creatures in Conan Exiles. We've also completely revamped the loot system in the game, adding valuable items as drops from both NPCs, but also chests that you find in the world. We're also rolling out the first of our core changes to the artificial intelligence system in the game. These apply to humanoids, so it means that the camps and factions that you encounter will provide a much greater and more relentless challenge to all players. These core AI changes will also apply to the thralls that you capture, thus making your archers and fighters better able to defend your base from enemy threats. Speaking of base defense, building your dream village or city has never been easier in Conan Exiles, as we have significantly reduced building costs across the board. We recently added domes of protection for protecting your base from avatars and their deadly attacks. In addition to that, We've added crenellated walls and siege cauldrons to defend against those pesky climbers. If somebody does manage to breach your defences, you can lull them into a false sense of security and then tear them apart with traps and trickery. And for those of you on the attacking side of the equation, we've added trebuchets that allow you to pulverise your enemy's defences and traps before you even have to get close. With the expansion update, we're adding over 300 new items. But what you might not know is that during the past six months, we've added hundreds of new items such as weapons, armor, furniture, and of course, the orbs. Orbs are based in practical alchemy. That is the ability to mix together volatile chemicals in a glass orb and use to destroy enemy walls, to make their enemies choke on gaseous clouds, to set oil on the ground to trip their enemies up, and of course water orbs for putting out all those pesky fires. We released the Dregs Dungeon, which gives players a guided, handcrafted experience. And we're releasing two more dungeons with the new update. We've also spent a lot of time making the world of Conan Exiles feel more coherent and easier for players to traverse. We added the climbing system, which allows you to climb anything that you can imagine. With the upcoming release, you will also be able to experience the journey system. The journey system provides you with a set of goals in the world. Not necessary goals, but things that will help to guide you and lead you down the path of the exile's journey. We've added the exploration system, which rewards you for exploring the world. We've expanded and updated the in-game map, allowing players to place their own map markers as well as allowing them to see where other players are about to spawn avatars. Conan Exiles is a survival game, and with the addition of the temperature system, we've upped the survival component. This means that in order to survive in the harsh landscapes of Conan Exiles, you're really going to need to think about what you eat, what you drink, and how you dress. We've also added the dyeing system, which allows you to customize your armors and clothing with the colors of your clan. On a technical level, we've increased server performance and client performance across the board. As a part of our overhaul, we've also changed the official server types. We now offer PVE fast, PVE regular, PVP fast, and PVP regular. We feel that the different progression types will enable players to find their own style and pace within the Conan Exiles universe. We're happy to report that we've increased stability on both Nvidia and AMD cards, making the game run better for everybody. Working together with our core community through the Exploit Hunters program, we've found and squashed over 40 exploits, making Conan Exiles more stable than ever. Exiles, the journey is long and the road is harsh. And during the first six months of Early Access, we've been working together with you to get things into the shape that you deserve. Now, during phase two of Early Access, we're looking forward to updating and improving the game 
and adding features that you've requested as we head towards our release in early 2018. Thank you.